Hi students, I would like to welcome all of you to today's class. We learned about electric intensity at a point on axial line in the previous class. In this class, we are going to discuss about the second a very important phi mark derivation that is electric intensity at a point on equatorial line derivation of expression for write down derivation of expression for derivation of expression for electric intensity at a point electric intensity at a point on equatorial line equatorial line or equatorial plane okay so this is electric charge and electric field part part seven okay well let's start today's class so this derivation of expression for electric intensity at a point on equatorial line the past year let us consider an electric dipole what is the meaning of electric dipole pair of equal and opposite charges pair of equal and opposite charges separated by a small vector distance pair of equal and opposite charges separated by a small separated by a small vector distance okay so this is electric dipole this is the center of the electric dipole so a is the location of minus q b is the location of plus q a is the location of minus q b is the location of plus q and this is equatorial line so this equatorial line a line passing through the center of the electric dipole line passing through the center of the electric dipole and perpendicular to the dipole axis this is equatorial line and now consider equatorial plane this is a plane uh, passing through plane passing through plane passing through the center of the electric uh, dipole and perpendicular to the dipole axis. So, what is this equatorial plane? This is equatorial plane. So, this is electric dipole moment. The direction of dipole moment that is same as that of the direction of dipole axis. Direction of dipole moment that is same as that of the direction of dipole axis. Okay, now we can consider the observation point P. At that point, we have to calculate the electric intensity produced by this electric dipole. So, this is a point lies on equatorial line and also the equatorial plane. So, at this point, we have to calculate the resultant electric intensity that is produced by the electric dipole. Now, let us consider a unit positive test charge. A unit positive test charge that is plus Q naught that is placed at the observation point P. Okay, how many electric fields, electric intensities are there at point P? Two electric intensities. Is it not? So one is electric intensity at point P due to plus Q, and another one is electric intensity at point P due to minus Q. So due to plus Q, what happens? 
the plus q naught will experience it. plus q naught will experience it, the repulsive force so this is p b vector p b vector so electric intensity at point p due to minus q plus q naught will experience the attractive force due to plus q plus q naught will experience the repulsive force due to minus q plus q naught will experience the attractive force okay so let us consider this angle as theta and this is also theta okay so if it is angle theta what about this this is also theta because these two are corresponding angles and here this is angle theta what about this this is also theta why because these two are alternate angles actually here electric intensity at point p uh, due to minus q so what is that p a vector that is p a vector okay uh, so e a vector actually here uh, does not lies along uh, x direction does not lie along y direction so in that case the vector should be uh, split into two rectangular components okay even here e b vector is also split into two rectangular components now let's consider an imaginary rectangle here this is imaginary rectangle right so this is the angle theta what is this perpendicular angle theta perpendicular hypotenuse base base component of e vector e e a cos theta that is the base component of a vector so and then uh, the perpendicular component this is e a sin theta e a sin theta and the distance from observation point p to the center of the electric dipole so let us consider this distance and r or is the distance from observation point p to the center of the electric dipole so now eb vector uh, that should be split into two rectangular components okay so here this is the imaginary rectangle right so this is perpendicular this is angle theta this is perpendicular this one is hypotenuse this one is base the base component of eb vector base component of e vector is e b cos theta e b cos theta so that is along the direction p x okay and the perpendicular component is perpendicular component is e b sin theta e b sin theta okay so what is the distance from o to b this is a right so o to p is r o to b is a so what is the value of b to p by using pythagoras theorem that is root r square plus a square that is the distance from point b to point p okay so here the distance from p to p is root r square plus a square even the distance from a to p is also a to p is also root r square plus a square because o a is a o p o p is r and a p a p is root r square plus a square okay and this diagram is very very important okay right now we will start the derivation okay uh, first let us consider 
इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल मोमेंट दैट इज पी ओके इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल मोमेंट स्पेशली पी इज इक्वल टू क्यू डॉट टू ए दैट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वन ऑफ द चार्ज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वन ऑफ द चार्ज फॉर्मिंग द इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल एंड द डायपोल लेंथ सेपरेशन बिटवीन टू इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट पॉइंट चार्जेस ओके द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन द डेरिवेशन दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिक इंटेंसिटी एट इलेक्ट्रिक इंटेंसिटी एट a point p electric intensity at a point p due to due to plus q due to plus q at p electric intensity at point p due to plus q at p due to plus q plus q not will experience the repulsive force so this is the direction of pb like that that is along pp b to p direction so that can be determined by using the expression what is that e is equal to 1 divided by e is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not q divided by r square 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not q divided by r square so here e b vector e b vector that is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not q divided by uh, this distance p p square what is the distance from b to p point charge to observation point distance point charge to observation point distance is root r square plus a square whole square root r square plus a square whole square and this is along which direction this is along along b to p along b p b to p direction and then the magnitude of e p vector is just e p e p is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not q divided by root root and square cancel R square plus A square. Now all the equation number one. Okay, so this is the magnitude. Magnitude of A B vector. A B is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught. A B is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught. Uh, Q divided by R square plus A square. so while calculating the magnitude of eb vector we should not write the vector sign on eb while calculating the magnitude magnitude of eb vector we should not write the vector sign on eb okay the uh, next step that is electric intensity at Point P, the same point, but due to due to minus Q charge. Electric intensity at point P due to the minus Q charge. So that is E E A vector E A vector is equal to one divided by Four pi epsilon naught. The magnitude of minus q is q divided by um, the distance from p to a. That is also root a square plus root r square plus a square. So here uh, divided by root r square plus a square whole square. Okay. So again here square root. Cancels and this is along which direction? That is along P to A, along P to A direction. Okay, and then the magnitude of E A vector, magnitude of E A vector is E 
Ea. Ea. That is equal to 1 divided by 4 by epsilon naught Q divided by m r squared plus a squared. So this is the magnitude of magnitude of Ea vector. So while calculating the magnitude of Ea vector, we should not write the vector sign on Ea. Okay. So now call this as equation number two. Call this as equation number two. Now comparing the two equations, one and two. So what is your conclusion? The magnitude of Ea vector that is equal to the magnitude of Ea vector. Magnitude of Ea vector that is equal to magnitude of Ea vector that is equal to magnitude of Ea vector. Just comparing these two equations. Equation 1 is Eb is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r squared plus a squared. Even Ea is also equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r squared plus a squared. So both are equal here. Both are same. So one time Ea vector actually that is uh, splits into two rectangular components. Uh, one is the uh, Ea sine theta that is along let's consider y dash. This one is y. So here Ea vector is splits into two rectangular components. So Ea cos theta that is along p x direction, Ea sin theta that is along uh, p y dash direction, and Eb vector is also splits into two rectangular components, Eb sin theta along p y direction, and uh, Eb cos theta that is along uh, p x, Eb cos theta along p x direction. Okay, so here. Uh, the two components Ea cos theta and Eb cos theta that is moving along the same direction. So uh, Ea sin theta, Eb sin theta that is moving in opposite direction. Actually Ea sin theta that is exactly equal to Eb sin theta because Ea is equal to Eb. Ea is equal to Eb means Ea sin theta that is equal to Eb sin theta. So both are equal and opposite. So, what is the resultant of these two components? Resultant is zero because both are equal and quite opposite. So, these two components get cancelled, cancelled with each other. Okay, so now what is the resultant electric intensity at point P? Resultant electric intensity at point E. Resultant electric intensity at point P. Resultant electric intensity at point P. That is E. That is equal to uh, two vectors moving in the same direction here. Yeah. Two components. One is the uh, A cos theta and another one is E B cos theta. Both are moving in the same direction. If two vectors, P vector and Q vector, two vector, P vector and Q vector. If they are moving in the same direction, what is the angle in between them? Angle in between them is zero. So what is the expression for magnitude of resultant? R is equal to root p squared plus q squared plus 2pq cos theta. So here theta is zero. So R is equal to root p squared plus q squared plus 2pq. Okay. So that can be written in the form of root uh, p plus q whole square. Uh, square root get cancels. So finally, we will get R is equal to P plus Q. If two vectors moving in the same direction, the resultant is R is equal to P plus Q. Here, P is A cos theta, Q is E B cos theta. Both are moving in the same direction. That is why the resultant is, the resultant is uh, E E Q. That means electric intensity at a point P, point on the equatorial line or equatorial plane. So that is <coughs> E A cos theta plus E B cos theta. So here E A is equal to E B. E A is equal to E B. That is why uh, electric intensity at a point on the equatorial line is equal to E A cos theta plus 
cb cos theta ea is equal to ed so that is why 2 ea cos theta 2 ea cos theta so that is the resultant electric intensity um at a point p okay so what is the value of cos theta that can be calculated uh, by using this uh, right angle triangle so in the triangle the triangle o b p look at this triangle look at this triangle that is o b p o b p so this is angle theta this is angle theta uh, o p o p is perpendicular o b is base p p is hypotenuse cos theta is base divided by hypotenuse that means o b uh, divided by b p so the triangle o b p cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to a divided by a divided by root base divided by hypotenuse a divided by root r square plus a square so this is the value of cos theta the triangle obp obp cos theta is equal to a uh, divided by root R square plus a square, right? Now the equation becomes two. What is the value of E? What is the value of E? E is one divided by four pi epsilon naught q divided by one divided by four pi epsilon naught q divided by R square plus a square. R square plus a square. What is the value of cos theta? Cos theta is a divided by R square plus a square power one by two. Root means power one by two. So electric intensity at a point on the equilibrium line that is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught q into two a that is p. Two into two a is p. P is electric. Q into two a product of magnitude of one of the charge forming the electric dipole and dipole length separation between. Two equal and opposite charges. That is the dipole length. It is electric dipole moment P. So divided by R square plus A square power uh, one plus one by two. R square plus A square power one uh, plus one by two. One plus one by two. That is three by two. Right. So this is the expression for electric intensity at a point on equatorial. Line. Okay. So in vector form, in vector, in vector form. So this can be written as E EQ vector is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught p divided by r square plus a square power three by two into minus p cap. So p cap is a Unit vector C cap is a unit vector. Uh, indicates the direction of uh, electric intensity. P cap is directed uh, from negative charge to positive charge. But minus P cap, minus P cap means that is directed from uh, positive charge to negative charge. Actually, here the direction of electric intensity at a point on the equilibrium line that is along P axis. Along P X, that is from positive charge to negative charge. Positive charge to negative charge. Okay, so that is the significance of the negative sign. So electric intensity at a point on the axial line, that is from negative charge to positive charge. Okay, electric intensity at a point on the equatorial line, that is from positive charge to negative charge. Direction is quite opposite. And for the short electric dipole, for short electric dipole, for short electric dipole, that means the point P lies far away from the center of the electric dipole. Point P lies far away from the center of the electric dipole. In that case, R is much greater compared to A. So A square is negligible. R is much greater compared to A. A square is Negligible. So that is why this equation becomes. Uh, this one becomes. 
electric intensity at a point of the equatorial line that is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught p divided by okay a square is negligible here a square is negligible okay now the equation becomes r square power three by two r square power three by two so two to get cancelled and finally we will get one divided by four pi epsilon naught p divided by r cube okay so what is the expression for electric intensity at a point in the axial line for short electric dipole that is one divided by four pi epsilon naught two p divided by r cube electric intensity at a point in the equatorial line is one divided by four pi epsilon naught one divided by four pi epsilon naught p divided by r okay so one divided by four pi epsilon naught one divided by four pi epsilon naught p divided by r cube so that is written in the form of two into two into p that means electric intensity at the point on the axial line is twice the electric intensity at a point on the equatorial line. Suppose the electric intensity, electric intensity at a point on the axial line is um, two newton per coulomb. Electric intensity at a point on the axial line is two newton per coulomb. Electric intensity at a point on equatorial line is the angle divided by 2 that is 1 newton per coulomb. Uh, suppose the electric intensity at a point on the equatorial line is 4 newton per coulomb. Electric intensity at a point on the axial line is 4 into 2 that is 8 newton per coulomb. Okay, so this derivation is very very important for 